Video Factory presents Matt Dreadlock. Here's your paper, Matt. Hey, there's a new Video Factory location opening up. Why do you get so excited about Video Factory? Because I can get what I want at Video Factory. Thousands of titles, fast, computerized service, and look at those blank tape specials. I'm going over now. Wouldn't you rather stay and snuggle with me, Matt? You're good, honey. You're very good. But Video Factory's better. Video Factory, we've got the movies. And names many of us might remember, may know, Bob Stilson. Good Bob, to see you. Welcome. And uh, let's, let's talk a little bit about the industry, about the station, about the future. As I said earlier, this is about Back to the Future. Yeah. You know, yeah. Uh, you know Bill has put together a, a, a situation here now where we have local roots, not big corporation national roots. Yeah. So tell me what that is going to mean going forward. Well, what we're essentially doing here is creating a place where it, it's not built as much about, certainly not a big corporate playlist or anything like that, like you're going to play this, you're going to play that. This is more based around the song being the star as opposed to the performing artist. So something like Cole Porter's I've Got You Under My Skin. Well, we may play that by Frank Sinatra or Michael Buble or Diana Krall or Rosemary Clooney or Linda Ronstadt. It's more about the classic American songbook and just the, uh, uh, the music that really stands the test of time, whoever's singing it. So it gives us uh, a wonderful base of quality to work on, but it allows us to go many places as far as the songs themselves as they're performed. You know, having uh, kids that are in their early 20s now, I have noticed that when they hear these classic songs, they actually pay attention and they enjoy them. They enjoy the music. Well, the structure of music by a Jerome Kern or George Gershwin, uh, Buffalo's own Harold Arlen, they're just remarkable songs, and the majority of the messages of the truly great songs absolutely stand up today, and the music stands up. I mean, so much music that uh, uh, may be popular at the moment, maybe it's based upon an electronic drum beat, or it's not very well based in lyrics, or it's based on uh, taking sampling tracks from three or four different songs or TV game shows or whatever they pull the sound from. These are songs that, uh, you know, this is like the Shakespeare of popular music that we're talking about here. There's a certain structure. Yeah. There's a certain uh, quality that, that uh, and it's almost like the other things, I mean, like the comedians of, of, of the past, like the, the Bob Hopes and, and the Bing Crosbys and the, and the, and the, you know, the joke tellers, um, you know, George Burns, it, it, when you compare them to the modern day comedians, it, 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 there's a very, very sharp contrast. There, there is, there is. And I'm a huge, I've always been a tremendous fan of, uh, of old comedy. And uh, years ago, people would go on stage for years. They'd be traveling in vaudeville or going uh, wherever doing uh, their act and honing it and perfecting it until they got to a point where they had a radio show or a TV show and they were very polished performers by the time they did that. Now if you have people who are stars at 17 or 16 and it's a YouTube channel where they're doing their own thing, yeah you're seeing something fresh and spontaneous and brand new but they haven't really had the time to hone their craft the way that, uh, that we used to see. Well. This is all about in information, entertainment. Um, it, it, in, if you tune into WEBR at any given point during the day, what might you be listening to that's going to grab your attention? We essentially will be trying to play music you love. The music is really at the core of all of it, whether it be instrumental or vocal. Um, we want to talk about the music, we want to talk about what's going on in western New York. We'll of course be taking quick looks at the news and weather, keep you informed with that sort of stuff. But as far as major political opinions, whatever side they, mean, they may land on, 
that's not what we're about. You can find that sort of thing many other places. We're looking to provide nice, light entertainment and good information about the area. Might there be uh, promotions like uh, the old time, uh, the, you know, the, we, at KB Radio we had a talking cat contest. <laughs> if, your, if your cat said WKBW Radio, <laughs> you, you would win a million dollars. But we got yes. the cat. <laughs> huh? We did get a cat. Yeah, we, well, you know, we didn't get a talking cat. We would have given the million dollars, and a talking cat would have been worth a million dollars. Yes, well, that's, ass, it didn't happen. I'm, I'm happy for the cat. Yeah. That might have had to go through dangerous situations to talk. Yeah, we are looking to have uh, promotions and events and things of that sort. One of the biggest things we'll be looking to do with any of that is to try to make it fun. Try to make it personality driven. Uh, we're not saying you have to be from Western New York or this area to enjoy the show and the kind of jokes we'll be telling, but it certainly won't hurt. We will be uh, remembering a lot of the cultural history that happened in this area. And there will be some uh, very familiar names oh, yeah. uh, when you tune in. Tell us a little bit about some of the people who will be listening to Well, you. mornings, it'll be uh, myself and uh, Gail Ann Huber. Uh, people know her from Morning Show for years on WYRK. I spent many years talking about movies with Sandy Beach over on WBEN. And then we'll have Jack Horho. He'll be playing music from noon to three. Uh, we'll have Barry Lillis. Barry Lillis back on the radio Thank airways you, doing drive time. I have been working with Barry on promos of that year, and it has been an absolute blast. Larry and uh, Barry and Jack are both just terrific to work with. Uh, same with Gail. I can't wait to uh, uh, to get uh, get in the studio with her going through the, the morning paper every day. Uh, we've got a handful of uh, talk shows in the morning. Um, uh, Tom Darrow and Vincentello are going to be doing a little bit of talk in the late mornings. And the weekends, weekends are going to be very special here on the station. We're going to have uh, uh, quite a few specialty programs featuring different types of uh, music uh, and genres and cultures, but they'll still all be songs, uh, shows that fit into that uh, mold of the Great American Song. You know, I, I know a guy who might be looking for a job. He's, he's you know, he's got some skills. He's a little rough around the edges. Oh, what's his name? name? Is, uh, Nevereth, uh, Jan Jenny Nevereth. Oh, you know. yeah, yeah. We, we heard about him. Yeah. And we've, we've given a lot of thought uh, he's to that. He's trainable. I mean, you can... Well, well this is it. We're looking for people with a little more experience. Yeah. Uh, if Danny... Danny yeah. gets a little more experience, have him call us oh, okay. or send us a reel. If he's ever put anything on tape, we'd be glad to hear uh, from I'll him. I'll coach him a little bit. Yeah. I appreciate okay. that. Right. Um, okay, uh, now July 6th. July okay. 6th. What are we looking at? Anything special for July 6th? I have understand that's going to be a special day. Well, the first thing we'll do is flip that big red switch that puts us on the air. We're excited about that. But we'll be starting off with the morning show. Uh, first thing in the morning, we're going to have, you know, handful of little uh, features, hopefully a few things to make you laugh. We'll be talking about the songs. Uh, we'll have the national news at the top of the hour, but as far as weather, local things that are going on, both local news that is important and little peculiar things that maybe aren't that important but are just kind of interesting. We'll knock those around as well. Uh, we're basically going to be two people who are a little bit away from their millennial years. We're, we're, we're not quite kids anymore, just trying to figure out technology. Uh, unfortunately, we won't have our adult kids here uh, to be able to explain stuff to us, because I know at our house I have two adult sons, and when my wife and I can't figure out our phone or something like that, we ask them the question, they stop, give us a big eye roll, say, okay, boomer, Give me the phone, and then they do it in a second. Well, I, so. I still, I still can can do my eight track player better than my son. That's I just, wonderful. You know, I can, yeah, figure that out. I, I still, I don't have it any longer, but I used to have a, a gramophone that played seventy eights. I, I wish I had that here to be able to play them on. Well, speaking of technology, will there be a uh, an internet presence? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. We'll be streaming, 
and you'll be able to check out shows on demand on the website. That'll be uh, webr1440.com, and uh, you'll have complete access to the music at all times on there. Welcome home, the great WEBR. Fourteen forty AM radio. The sound of the city is back in Western New York. And that's it for this uh, big picture. Stay tuned for July sixth and WEBR. We're all in for a big treat. And radio is still a very, very entertaining medium if done right. And I think they're going to do it right. Anyway, that's it for this big picture. Uh, I want to thank you for watching, and I want to thank you as always for watching. WBBZ TV. We'll see you next time on The Big Picture.